appropriate reception. Harry won of 82, but considering they were undefeated, the rematch, does this game feel a little bigger? I think it was just high intense, um, you know, perfect for the beginning of the season, a great test. You know, obviously they've been playing extremely well. I think they understand how tough it is to, to play in our building, um, playing in the playoffs last year. But um, Giannis is unbelievable as usual. You know, Chris filled in. Um, but I feel like we did a great job of, of uh, playing great team defense. Um, you know, a couple of our out of 55 threes, a um, few of them were long rebounds, so they got in, out in transition. Our, you know, we weren't balanced. Um, um, on the, in our transition, but other than that, I feel like we did a good job. I think the score was a lot closer than what the game actually was. I think um, you know a few timeouts when we came out, they you know we we kind of got stagnant every once in a while. We missed a few shots and they got in transition. Giannis got to the free throw line. They slowed the game down. So um, but overall, we feel pretty good about this one. Fifty-five too many. Hmm? Fifty-five. Too Never. Many. <laughs> Get them up. <laughs> Get them up. They're wide open. And they're gonna play defense like that then. I don't see why not. Um, Al's a capable shooter. I have the utmost confidence in him. And then, you know, if we don't have it, then we have secondary action as well that we can run. But I feel like, you know, if they're going to play that type of defense, then we should shoot it every time, you know. So, you know, at one point, I think Brooke and John Henson were in the paint. So, yep. you know, let's get them up. I hope we shoot 80 next game. They play defense <laughs> like that. What is different about this offense since that second half against OKC? I'm just having fun. Uh, I think. Um, I don't like to say we're playing carefree, but I think that um, you know we're just we're kind of making the you know decision that we want, and that we're playing off one another. I think before we were not necessarily being aggressive and, and reading and reacting. Now we're just playing off one another and reading and reacting. So you know, we we have options. We understand what our offense is, and I think that we're just dialing into to what we're all um, capable of doing out there. Back on the threes, did you view that as almost like a challenge or a dare? Like they, they weren't expecting I, you to make as many as you did? I don't know. I was just playing a game. It's it fun to play the game in space, I'll tell you that. Um, so I just wanted them to keep playing that type of defense. I, I, they, they adjusted in the second um, in the second half where they brought Ilya Sola up, Brooke, uh, up to touch, which created some opportunities on the backside. I don't think we uh, capitalized on as many opportunities as we could have on that. Um, but you know, we'll be better next time we play. Kyrie, the passing and the ball movement is really crisp. Is that something you can get in a rhythm with, like like shooting rhythm almost, like where you know, everyone's seen the pass? And yeah, I, I also think it took some adjustment for us of just being able to make those reads and when someone drives the basketball, being ready to catch and shoot. I think some of our guys in, in the locker room, including myself, uh, you know, it's a it's a big transition to, you know, you're you're a ball dominant guard or a ball dominant big. You're used to seeing the basketball. I mean. You have to be out in the perimeter and be ready to shoot. So, uh, for us, just moving, getting that ball hopping, seeing guys, you know, take some open threes, feel good about it, gets us in a great rhythm. There can be a difference between like unselfish and overpassing. You, you said what? There can be a difference between like unselfish and overpassing. Yeah, which you saw mm -hmm. in the beginning of, of our season, which you know included me not taking as many attempts of just trying to get the ball moving, trying to make sure that I know where my spots are, but not necessarily being sure about it. And now just kind of just playing basketball. You know, knowing that our, you know, one person shot is our shot. It's a great shot, even if it's contested or anything like that. I believe in the talents that we have in this locker room. So just continue to play with confidence. Sir, uh, did you, did you want to, at halftime, you want to come out yourself, be even more aggressive, or still be the same? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to keep the Florida game going. Yeah. Uh, start off the third quarter with, with a, a, a kill mindset. Yeah. Uh, I think we came out and did that. But Brad, uh, Coach Stevens, I don't call him Brad in front of you guys. Coach Stevens, uh, Came out and uh, you know really harped on us about coming out of those timeouts when we were up by ten, up by thirteen, and we were letting them back in the game. Um, so we just got to be better on that and be more sure when we're uh, coming down with, with our possession and offensive end when we create that type of uh, lead. How are you guys approaching this season-long road trip coming up? Uh, it's a big test. Big test. I, I think that it'll hit us once we kind of get on the road and, and get out that first game and, and realize that we're going to need um, a higher level of play, especially trying to win on the road. I think we have a great locker room here full of guys that understand how hard it is to win in general, but how hard it is to win on certain uh, other teams' floors. And the teams that we're playing against, they're, they've been playing really well. Nuggets, Pacers, of course, Portland. You know, I won't be at the Utah game, but uh, Phoenix as well. Great young core, so we're looking forward to the challenge.